dear students after studying this module you will be able to learn about how courts take decisions the way the proceeding is conducted and the method the police gathers evidence know the types of justice system in india understand the working of justice system first is the books reference as authority it cannot be said with confidence that opinion expressed by the author of a book matches exactly with the case under trial in a particular court for example the state of madhya pradesh all india reporter 1954 supreme court 28 disapproved of the judges drawing conclusion adverse to the accused by relying upon such passages in the absence of their being put to medical witnesses similar view had been expressed in bhagwan das versus state of rajasthan all india reporter 1957 no doubt opinions expressed in books by forensic scientists or other experts may prove of considerable assistance in general or may be important to court in arriving at the truth however it cannot and should not be treated conclusive unless otherwise delayed in any given case the court may come to an appropriate decision keeping in view the relevant facts pertaining to a given case next is blood for dna testing blood is available at most of the crime scenes and is very important physical evidence especially in solving paternity problems but not legitimacy blood can be used for extraction of dna and dna fingerprinting is a perfect test to determine paternity in the case of hargovan soni versus ramdulari all india reporter 1986 it was withheld that the blood grouping is a perfect test to determine questions of disputed paternity of a child it may however be kept in mind that no one can be compelled to give a sample of blood for blood grouping test against his or her will blood can be used for dna analysis and evidence of dna expert is admissible as evidence since it is a perfect science the probability of two persons except identical twins having the same dna fingerprint is about 1 in 30 billion keeping the population of the entire world in view it is correct to conclude by that it leads to perfect identity of the individual a word of caution is however added that unless it is carried out properly an element of error may happen as had happened in usa where many flawed decisions were arrived at because of improper procedures next is chemical examiners and detective dies chemical examinees offer their opinions under the section 45 of indian evidence act their opinions are admissible in courts without their presence in the court under section 293 of criminal procedure code the court however has the authority to call any chemical examiner for clarification or cross examination the honorable supreme court had observed that chemical examiners need to be called in the cases of trap laying especially where detective diphenoxylene is used in the case of varada ram mohan rao state of andhra pradesh 2003 two courts after considering the material on record produced by prosecution and defense came to the conclusion that the prosecution has established its case the supreme court noticed that it was an admitted fact by appellant himself that prosecution witness one did conceal the currency notes worth rupees 1500 along with the said case papers he had come in contact with the said currency without knowing of his placement the explanation had been considered but rejected by the two lower courts and there was no reason for its acceptance from the evidence of prosecution witness 1 coupled with the facts proved by the way of trap satisfied that the accused did receive the money and that in a lining of the hand of the accused 
also showed the presence of phenolphthalein which could not have been possible by the accused by merely touching the pocket next is documentary evidence a handwriting of a person may be proved in the following ways first by examining script section 67 of indian evidence act explanation of section 67 proof of signature and handwriting of person alleged to have signed or written document produced if a document is alleged to be signed or to have been written wholly or in part by any person the signature or the handwriting of so much of the document as is alleged to be in that person's handwriting must be proved to be in his handwriting by evidence of the person who has seen the person writing the very document in question this is section 47 of indian evidence act third by person acquainted with the handwriting this is also under section 47 when the court has to form an opinion as to the person by whom any document was written or signed the opinion of any person acquainted with the handwriting of the person by whom it is supposed to be written or signed that it was or was not written or signed by that person is a relevant fact explanation to section 47 a person is said to be acquainted with the handwriting first if he has seen that person write such a person can be one who was personally present when the document was signed or written in farukdin versus madhya pradesh it was held that the evidence of the person who has seen a person write is a witness giving direct evidence and no other evidence would be necessary or an attesting witness under section 68 third when he has received document purporting to be written by that person in answer to documents written by himself or under his authority and addressed to that person thus if a businessman has written letters to another businessman and in turn receives replies from him the former is said to be acquainted with the latter's handwriting or fourth when in the ordinary course of business documents purporting to be written by that person have been habitually submitted to him suppose the office note written by a section officer is habitually submitted to the secretary of the government department concerned the latter is said to be acquainted with the former's handwriting by the opinion of an expert that is handwriting expert's opinion under section 45 of indian evidence act opinion of experts when the court has to form an opinion upon a point of foreign law or of science or art or as to identity of handwriting or finger impressions the opinions upon that point of persons specially skilled in such foreign law science or art or in questions as to the identity of handwriting or finger impressions are relevant facts such persons are called experts illustration the question is whether a certain document was written by a another document is produced which is proved or admitted to have been written by a the opinions of experts on the question whether the two documents were written by the same person or by different persons are relevant comments conflict of opinion of expert when there is a conflict of opinion between the experts then the court is competent to form its own opinion with regard to signatures on a document kishan chand versus sita ram all india reporter 2005 expert opinion admissibility requirement of expert evidence about test firing to find out whether double barrel gun is in working condition or not not necessary jarnal singh was a state of punjab all india reporter 1999 the evidence of a doctor conducting post mortem without producing any authority in support of his opinion is insufficient to grant conviction to an accused mohammad zaid was a state of tamil nadu 1999 opinion to be received with great caution 
the opinion of handwriting expert given in evidence is no less fallible than any other expert opinion adduced in the evidence with the result that such evidence has to be received with great caution. By the court itself comparing the document section 73 of Indian Evidence Act, the court may also direct any person present in court to write a word or write a word or figure for comparison. This comes under section 73 of Indian Evidence Act. Explanation of section 73, comparison of signature, writing or seal with others admitted or proved in order to ascertain whether a signature, writing or seal is that of the person by whom it purports to have been written or made. Any signature, writing or seal admitted or proved to the satisfaction of the court to have been written or made by that person may be compared with the one which is to be proved although that signature writing or seal has been produced or proved for any other purpose. The court may direct any person present in court to write any words or figures for the purpose of enabling the court to compare the words or figures so written with any words or figures alleged to have been written by such person. Opinion of handwriting person not essential in every case of disputed writing. In Shri Chand versus the state of Maharashtra, the Supreme Court held that it was not necessary to examine handwriting expert in every case of disputed writing when the prosecution failed to obtain the opinion of handwriting expert in a particular case. Next is knowledge of language. The knowledge of script is essential for a document expert to express his or her opinion on the documents written and signed in that particular script. This will be clear from the following court cases. Recently, in a case referred by the Commissioner of Income Tax, Amritsar Punjab, involving Urdu writings and signatures, the opinion of the document expert was set aside by the appellate authority on the ground that the expert did not know Urdu script, which he could not read or write. The appellate authority obtained fresh opinion from an Urdu knowing expert and the same was accepted. It is however pertinent to point out that both the experts gave identical opinion and lack of knowledge of the script did not materially affect the final scientific analysis. The fact that expert cannot read or write the language in which the disputed signatures are made must detract from the value which would be otherwise attached to his evidence as observed in the case of Saklain Ahmed versus Emperor. In another case involving document examination by an expert not well versed with language written in the document the learned judge observed. It could not be said that the handwriting expert was right in saying that he can, on comparison of handwriting on a document, that the signatures of another document were of the same person who wrote the former document, particularly when both the writings were in a language with which the expert was not well versed. Even where the disputed signature was said to be proved by expert evidence on comparison with the admitted signatures of suspect person. That evidence would be of very little evidentiary value because the science of judging handwriting by comparison is not precise and cannot be relied upon. Unlike the science of comparing disputed fingerprints and thumb impressions with the admitted fingerprint and thumb impressions, the handwriting expert gave evidence as to why he concluded that the Bengali writings were in handwriting of the appellant. He had shown the peculiarities of the writings in English and had pointed out that these peculiarities were evidenced in his handwriting in Bengali. It does not appear improbable that such peculiarities should be detected in both types of writings and there is no reason for refusing to accept the evidence of the expert on this point. In the case of Birendra Kurner versus Emperor, 
the court refused to allow comparison of handwriting without the help of an expert. The author's view in this regard is that the basic knowledge of the script is essential for every document examiner to express opinions on the handwriting or signatures written in that script. Peculiar writing habit or idiosyncrasy. The general features of handwriting like slant, pen pressure, etc. are not so reliable in establishing identity but the presence or otherwise or peculiar writing or idiosyncrasies are features which have decisive importance. Next is admissibility of expert opinion on photographs. The opinion of an expert cannot be rejected merely because it is based solely on photography. This was observed in the case of Shirinivas versus the Crown in 1951. Photographs can be taken correctly and these facts can be shown and thus all objections are disposed of. Photographs are now merely excluded. It is not necessary that the one who made the photographs should prove them. They can be proved by anyone competent to say that they are correct. If the court is satisfied that there is no trick photography and the photograph is above suspicion, the photograph can be admitted as evidence. But evidence of photograph to prove writing or handwriting can only be received if the original cannot be obtained and the photographic reproduction is faithful and not fake or false. This observation was made by the court in the case of Lakshmipat Chaurasia and others versus the state of Maharashtra, All India Reporter, 1968. We will conclude this module with summary. In this module, we learnt the following. We understood about the court proceedings. We are able to relate to case studies after having read this module. Moreover, the skills of analyzing a case and solving it will gradually develop and become strong. Understood to appreciate the expert evidence in case of handwriting, photographs and fingerprints, significance of knowing the language in which expert is presenting his or her opinion in the court of law. And also we learned about the admissibility of expert opinion on the photographs.